Hello and welcome to the Terry White Tech Blog. Today we're going to take a look at updating my website using Lightroom and the plugins from the Turning Gate. I did a blog post on that today, which you can see the link below. And um, I thought it would be cool because I, I just, just did a photo shoot this weekend and I can use those pictures to do what I would normally do, which is update my website. So here I am at terrywhitephotography.com. So this is the website we're going to update. And the gallery we're going to update, we're going to go to galleries and we're going to go to recent work. And in recent work, this is where I usually put, you know, my most recent uh, favorite photos from my recent photo shoots. So I have four new photos. So that means four of these need to come out. And let's head over to Lightroom and see how that process works. So we'll toggle over to Lightroom and here are the four new photos that need to go in and they need to go into the recent work gallery. So it's a collection in Lightroom. I'm just gonna go ahead and select those four photos and drag them right into the recent work collection, which takes it up to 28. And then when we click on that collection, we'll see that there are four new photos to publish because those four new photos aren't on the website yet. And then I'm gonna go down to the last oldest four and simply hit the delete key to remove them. Now it's not gonna take them out right away, it's just gonna say that they're you know, candidates to be removed right now. So when I hit the publish button over here in the upper right hand corner, what that will do is tell the Turning Gate plugin to go in my gallery on the website, remove these four and add these four. So it's actually gonna be a two step process and I'll explain that in a minute. So let's go ahead and hit publish and it's doing it live right here on the internet right now. So it's uh, updating or uploading those four images with my watermark, with the sizes and everything that I set up in this um, particular collection. And then it's just gonna quickly uh, delete these last four. And there they go. Now, the problem is it adds the new four uh, at the end of the collection. So I like my, my most uh, recent ones to be in the front. So I'm just gonna grab all four and just simply drag them in order so that they're now at the front of that collection. And I can even rearrange them from there. So for example, uh, maybe I want that one last and I kind of like that one and maybe that one in that order. Now, um, if we head to the website, just to show you what it's done so far, uh, when I hit refresh on this page, those last four images have been added to the bottom, but uh, and it took out the uh, oldest four, but of course I want those new four to be um, at the top. So when we go back to Lightroom, there is no more publish button because we haven't added anything and publish only appears when something's been added. So all I have to do is just right click on one photo and say mark to republish. In other words, hey, I wanna just put that photo back up on the web one more time. And when I do that, it will also update the order of the album as well. So when I head back over to the website now and hit refresh, those four photos will be in the front on my website, ready to go, complete with um, the watermark. If we click out of this, there we go, the watermark at the bottom. And again, the right size and the four in the order that I wanted them in. And that's my website. So that was updating my website with the Turning Gate um, CE4 publisher, which I wrote about on my blog today. And now you've seen exactly how easy it is to do the update once you have it all set up. Take care and we'll catch you on the next, uh, next clip.